Hi there, and welcome back to another Revit tutorial. Um, my name is Peter Malloy, and in this tutorial, what I'm going to be discussing is how to change a material in Revit that it feeds into um, Enscape. So what I'm going to be changing in this view is the grass that is on this podium here. Um, so a way to do that is just come into your Revit um, dialog here. I have a 3D view open. You can do this plan or whatever. Come in here. I'm going to go edit type. So it's set as grass at the moment. If I come into here to edit type um, inside here, you'll see that I have this um, this material on this floor set as grass. So just for the sake of example, I'm going to type in aluminium, just in case I was changing it to that. Okay, okay. And this will just take a moment because I have Enscape actually open. So an easy way actually when you're working in Enscape um, to kind of, uh, instead of it slowing down the whole um, Revit system is to come into Enscape and just actually press pause up here. Um, and what that'll do is like basically pause your updates while you're modeling them, just so you're not modeling for ages. Um, so that's just a little tip there that I like to do just to keep everything working fast. So now that I've updated that, I can press play. And what that'll do is that'll update my, my Enscape view. And now you can see that it's chained to aluminium, like that. Um, actually looks quite well, eh? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's just a quick tutorial on how to change materials um, from Revit um, so that it feeds into Enscape. Hope this tutorial was helpful, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe to the channel and videos every week. Uh, please shout a comment in the in the comment section if you'd like to see a tutorial or something that you're finding difficult to to kind of overcome in Revit and uh, hopefully I'll have an answer for you and I can create a video. Cool, thanks for stopping by and uh, I'll chat to you soon. Cheers!